the waterproofer's been and he's painted all the waterproofing membrane on the floor and stuff and I've got to stay off it for a couple of days. We bought a ceiling fan heater thing and that's got to go in the ceiling and that will determine the height of the ceiling. Uh, I had wanted to put the ceiling up as high as the concrete if I could but I can't now that's got to go in the ceiling and because I can't go in the room to put it in the ceiling which doesn't exist yet I thought I would build a frame around that and then just go whack it in when I can get in the bathroom and that will be the new ceiling height The electrician has to come wire it up later on, but I can do the mechanics of putting it in the ceiling. So because it's going in a new ceiling, I'm just going to make the frame up out of studs. On the basis of making this up as I go along, I realize I've got to move that forward because of the outlet pipe. And this stick and that stick are not involved in the holding it up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Actually, what I might do to avoid problems is to lay that down. Lay that down flat like that. That will go in the ceiling somewhere close to the vanity, I'm guessing. Then the fan goes somewhere off over here. It should be a meter, maximum of a meter from there to there.
and repeat on the other side. Perfect. Now I want to uh, lock that in there, flush with the bottom of these. I don't want it under these because the plasterboard will be going on these, so that has to be flush with the bottom. My next decision is where do I put a stomping grate hole in the wall? I could put it up there at this end of the bath or I could put it up there but I can't put it in the middle because the pipes are in the way. I think I'm favouring this end but it all depends what's on the other side. So I'll go outside and have a look. So given that the bathroom starts behind that little nip there, it doesn't matter which side of the bath I put it on. Either way, it's going to be on the outside here somewhere. Somewhere about there. I bought a new core drill. That's what it's called, not a hole saw. I found out in the shop this morning. Went in and asked for a hole saw and he said, uh, you want a core drill? After a small discussion. So I bought a core drill. Big beastie, 160 mils. $150 and only want to drill one hole. I didn't think it'd be that high, but that's okay, I think. <laughs> that's just the external cladding. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. It will be fine. from on there. That ain't going nowhere.
Oh, gut. This worked well in my head.
And that's me done for another day. The ceiling all framed out. The uh, ceiling fan and everything all sorted out. Just got to um, chase some wires now and then get the electrician to connect it all up. The wires I'm chasing over there with the switch are just 9 volt wires so <clears throat> I'm only chasing the wires anyway, I'm not touching any electricity. But the 240 only starts at the fan itself. Yep, that's me done. I'm going for dinner, I'm starving.